everyone welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited my name is Lalita and today in this video i am going to discuss about solar energy trainer and its order code is 5502d with the help of this trainer kit we can convert the solar energy into the electrical energy and with the help of this apparatus student can understand the characteristics and operations of the solar energy and they can learn how the solar cells put together to generate the voltage and current and they can know how the solar energy is utilized to generate the electricity now i am going to giving you an overview of this apparatus in this apparatus we have six connections here we can connect the solar panel positive and negative terminals easily here we have output provided when solar panel is connected to the main trainer then we have the measurement section in which we have voltmeter ammeter and potentiometer with the help of voltmeter the value of voltage can be measured easily and with the help of ammeter the value of current can be easily measured then we have the potentiometer with the help of this potentiometer the value of voltage and current can be vary then we have the charging section here we have the amplifier section here we have the leds from you can study the load easily then some appliances and applications which works on the principle of solar energy are also provided like lamp and fan then we have the fm receiver and we have an frequency selector then we have the volume controller through where we can control the value of fm now talking about the second part of this unit is having the maximum voltage of each solar cell is 2 volt and maximum current of each solar cell is about 150 milli ampere in dc this is the character which is used to connect the solar panel to the main unit this solar panel has an stand through which we can move the solar panel easily you can see now all the solar cell will be work on the high efficiency when it is placed inside the sunlight now i am going to start first number experiment to study of voltage and current of the solar cells we will follow the procedure of this experiment according to the lab manual so first of all take the solar energy trainer along with solar panel place the solar panel in the stand and adjust the panel at an angle of about 45 degree with the ground direct the sunlight straight at the solar panel you can see i have adjust the solar panel now with the db15 connector connect the solar solar energy trainer with the solar panel you can see i have connect now we will wait for 1 minute to avoid errors due to temperature fluctuation now we will measure the voltage v1 of s1 solar cell by connecting its output across voltmeter with the help of patch cords i will connect the positive of solar cell to the positive of voltmeter and negative of solar cell to the negative of voltmeter and will measure the value of voltage you can see on the display the value of voltage is 2.34 volt similarly we can check the value of voltage on s2 solar cell the value is approx 2.34 like that we can check to all the solar cells the value of voltage here the value of voltage is approx 2.38 similarly we also can check the value of current i will connect this to ammeter you can see the value of current is approx 35 ampere and i also can check the value of current to s2 cell it's approx 65 i will check on s3 it is approx 32 
if I check on S4, it is approx 156. Like that, we can check to on all the cells. It is approx 73. If I check here, the value of current is approx 173. Now we will start the second number experiment to study of the voltage and current of, so of the solar cell in series and parallel combination. First of all, we will make the series combination of cells. I will connect the positive side of S1 to the negative side of S2 and positive side of S2 to the negative side of the S3. Similarly, I will connect till S6. So, let us start. I will connect the positive side of this S1 to positive of voltmeter and then I will connect negative of S1 to positive of S2. Negative of S2 to positive of S3. Negative of S3 to positive of S4 and then negative of S4 to positive of S5, negative of S5 to positive of S6 and then at last we will connect negative of S6 to negative of voltmeter and we will measure the value of voltage. You can see the value of voltage is approx 13.74. Similarly, we also can measure the value of ammeter by connect the positive and negative negative side to the ammeter. You can see the value of current is 35 milliampere. Now we will make the connections for the parallel. Now we will make the parallel connections. So, let us start. We will connect the positive side of the cell S1 to positive of voltmeter and negative of S1 to negative of voltmeter. After that, I will connect positive side of S1 to positive side of S2. And negative side of S1 to negative side of S2 and then we will connect positive side of S2 to positive side of S3, negative side of S2 to positive negative side of S3 and positive side of S3 to positive side of S4 and negative side of S3 to negative side of S4 positive side of S4 to positive side of S5 negative side of S4 to negative side of S5 and at last positive side of S5 to positive side of S6 and negative side of S5 to negative negative side of S6. Here you can see on the display of voltmeter the value of voltage is approx 2.27. Similarly, we also can measure the value of current. I will connect this here. Here you can see the value of current is approx 486 milliampere. So, like that we can make the series and parallel combinations and can measure the value of voltage and current. Now, we will start the third number experiment to study of both the current voltage characteristics and the power curve to the find the maximum power point and efficiency of a solar cell. So, let us start to make the connections. 
So, first of all we will connect positive terminal of solar cell to P 1 terminal of the potentiometer. So, I will connect the positive side of S 1 to P 1 of potentiometer. After that we will connect other end of potentiometer that is P 2 to positive terminal of ammeter. and then connect negative terminal of ammeter to negative terminal of solar cell. After that we will connect the positive terminal of voltmeter to P 1 and negative terminal of voltmeter to P 2. And now, we will start to record the values of corresponding voltage and current into the observation table and gradually move the potentiometer in anti-clockwise direction, so that the resistance of potentiometer decrease. Here, you can see on the display of the voltmeter and ammeter the value of voltage and current. I also can measure the value of resistance. Always keep it in mind that before measure the resistance of potentiometer at any position first move the patch codes from P 1 and P 2 and measure resistance by multimeter. So, I will remove both of them and I will connect multimeter here. You can see on the display of multimeter the value of resistance is approx 0.49 and we will connect again the further measure, measure, measurement. I will increase the value of voltage and now I will check the value of resistance. Here you can see on the display of voltmeter the value of resistance, resistance is approx 18.36. So, like that you can measure the value of current voltage and resistance at different different points and can fill out this table which is given in the lab manual. And we can plot the IV characteristics from the measurements recorded in the table to show how the photoelectric current depends on photoelectric voltage and to find maximum power point and we can make the IV characteristics like that and we also can make the power curve of the solar cell as a function of voltage which is given in the lab manual you can see. Now, we will talk about the first number experiment through which we learn how to calculate the efficiency of solar cell. So, for understand this experiment you can go through the lab manuals and can read out that how to calculate the efficiency of solar cell you can read theory and procedure you can see so by reading this experiment through lab manuals you can know how to calculate the efficiency of solar cell now, we will start the next experiment to study of the applications of solar cell of charging the battery, so that the loads can be used even while the module is unexposed to light. Let us start to make the connection. So, first of all we will connect the positive terminal of solar cell to the positive terminal of diode. 
right connect and then we will connect the terminal T 1 to positive terminal of battery. After that we will connect the voltmeter across battery terminals with patch cords. And then we will connect the positive terminal of battery to terminal T 2 of amplifier section. And then we will connect T 3 to positive terminal of load with patch cords. and we will connect negative terminal of battery to negative terminal of load with patch cords. Now, you can observe the group of LEDs glows, here load is operating with the solar energy and battery is charging with the solar energy. So, you can see batteries is started to glowing and you also can see on the display of voltmeter as I connect to the load the value of voltage is decrease. If I remove the load the value of voltage is approx 4.13 and if I connect the load the value of voltage is decrease. Now, we will start the next experiment to study of the applications of solar cells of providing electrical energy to the domestic appliances such as lamp, fan and radio. So, we will connect the positive side of S1 to the lamp, positive side and the negative side of the S1 to the negative side. And you can see the lamp is glowing. Like that, we also can check that fan is working or not. You can see fan is start. We will check for FM receiver. You can see FM receiver is working. So that's all the demonstration which is given by me. If you have any query related to this apparatus, you can go through the link which is given in the description. If you want to know more about this apparatus, you can go through the lab manuals. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please like, share, subscribe our channel. Thank you.